Hi Aries, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for July 9th through the 15th. This is for the sign of Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. My readings are love readings. If you are in a happily ever after relationship, then this reading is not for you. Because these readings, if you come looking for a tarot reading, you're struggling. You're struggling. Some people don't want to admit it. Some people have no problem admitting it. I'm just letting you know because people that are in a happily ever after relationship don't need to be looking for love readings. They have faith, they trust, they know. Somebody is sacrificing themselves in a situation needlessly. Stalling. Determined. Somebody is very determined to, to get what they want. Maybe determined to be happy, which is great. Determined to be happy, I mean, that's great. But here, this person is very stubborn, hard-headed, greedy. So I'm not sure if that's somebody you're dealing with. Oh, maybe you have two men in the picture. This is freedom, liberation, lack of honesty, lack of communication, untrue. Something isn't true. Somebody could be being dishonest. There could be a third party situation. You could be even thinking. Maybe you're in a relationship and you're thinking about two people. Maybe you're in a relationship with one of them, but you're thinking about another one. That could certainly be the case. Unable to give up. Somebody is, is, is going to get caught. The truth is going to come out. There's a change of course on the horizon in which you are going to have to struggle through some sort of truth. This is liberation. This is freedom. Yeah, some truth is going to come out and it might hurt. Okay, it might hurt, because that's the sort of truth, and it is reversed, so it might hurt. There could be a third-party situation, okay? There could be, and this could be two men or two women. There's, there could be a third-party situation, there could be. And, you know, you may have your guard up already. Either way, something is about to end. Something is going to end with this Ten of Swords reversed, and cause you to be free. I'm free. It's a change of course that is destined to happen. We have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. We also have Aquarius. Doesn't matter what signs we have really. I think some sort of truth is being revealed that changes everything. And it may be a struggle for you. But you may decide to give up on it. You know, you, you've, you've held on long enough. I've held on long enough. I'm putting my sword down. I don't even want to fight for this anymore. Somebody, whether it's you or the other person, somebody is, is giving up the fight. That's what it looks like to me. There's no, there's no more hope left here. There isn't. Karma, judgment day. <laughs> judgment day. Imagine that. Okay. So, uh, this is the judgment card. In men, you know, it's judgment in the other decks. This is resurrection. This is uh, a wake-up call, an awakening, an epiphany. The truth is about to be revealed. Something is about to re be revealed that is going to have help you to release the past, to wake up, to accept the truth. It's changing. You're, you have a change, of course, right here in front of you, Aries. Something is ending, 10-10. Something is ending, bringing you to a much better place judgment I mean
This is about forgiveness. There's no more growth in this scenario. It's time for me to release it. There's no more expansion. There's no more excitement. There's no more passion left here. I need to free myself from it. Oh my God. So, yeah, you guys have been sacrificing yourself long enough. You have. It's over. It's over. Something is over. A period in your life with the Wheel of Fortune, one chapter of your life is over and it's, it's time to stop. It's time to stop staying there. It's time to stop staying stuck in that situation. It's time to move on to that next phase. It's a time of liberation. It's a time for you to persevere and move on to the next phase, to happiness. You guys have stubbornly held on for a really long time. And it feels like you maybe you've buried yourself in your job or in work or something other than this is supposed to be a love reading because you've been lacking energy, lacking drive, lacking inspiration. There's been no inspiration in this scenario to even put any energy into anything. Something is over, you know. Something is absolutely over. It is this time of rest, this time of recuperation is done. It's time for you to step on this new path. It's, I see I see good luck with that destiny. It's time for this new chapter that is going to bring you something much, much, much better. Because where you've been is stagnant, stuck, struggling. But I think that's over. I think the worst is over. I really do. And these cards fell out. Yeah, wish fulfillment is coming. Happiness is right around the corner. Abundance. You guys are ending something. Another 10. There's a conscious change being made. Something is ended. The baggage is being dropped. The burdens are being dropped. They're, they're, they're slowly fading away. You're going to start to feel relief. You should be starting to feel relief. If not now, very, very, very soon. I see that baggage, burdens, responsibilities, um, anything that was heavy is, is going to start to dissipate. You should be starting to feel a lot lighter. A lot. I'm starting to get the goosebumps. Um, you've been in a situation that was really, really insecure. You were on thin ice, but it feels like this period of difficulty is ending. That's what I see. You've been emotionally unavailable, emotionally drained. Almost feeling cold. Bitter. There could have been some jealousy. You may have, you, maybe somebody's jealous of you or you're jealous of them. There could have been a loss of money. There could have been too much overspending. There could have been, you could have been dealing with somebody who was mean-spirited. I feel like... things have been unstable and insecure for quite some time but you're stepping out of it you're letting it go that's going away that period is actually going away whatever this period was that that caused you to feel insecure and perhaps even unlovable maybe you didn't have you know i don't even want to love at this time i, I don't even care about love you know something has made you feel like love wasn't even feasible but I feel like love is coming back you need to be logical here it's time to see it as it is tell it like it is take charge be strong yeah justice is about to be served now we have a couple of karma cards here Something is about to become final, and it's a phase in your life for that Wheel of Fortune. This difficult phase that you've been through, I think that's over. I think because that wheel is a good lock. And this is this is the final straw. It's the final countdown. It's over. It's over. 
So I feel like you guys are about to go through some sort of a spiritual awakening, or you have been, where you're changing from one phase of your life and you're stepping on to a new path that is, is meant to happen to bring you more security and stability and abundance than you've had in a long time. Happiness. It's time. It's time. The scales are about to be balanced out for you. It's something you've been preparing for and it, you've been waiting for this to happen. It's like you didn't, you probably thought this wasn't going to happen for a long time yet. You guys have been stuck. You may have just turned your back on, on even thinking that the future was bright. But, like I said, a phase of your life is over and a new one that is promising a strong victory and success is opening right up for you. This is, this is success. It's coming. It's time to step over that finish line. It is. Karmic lesson has been learned. And now it's time for you to work on the next one. So I feel like there's been a period of loss of hope, loss of energy, loss of willpower, um, depression, uh, feeling like you were um, empty on the inside. And I think that period is over because you have a major new beginning right in front of you. Major. A karmic lesson has been learned. Karma, karma, lesson. And now it's time for you to prepare for your ships to come in. It is. Some huge burden, heavy weight is being released. It's being lifted. You fought hard. You have. You have persevered through this. You have. It hasn't been easy. It absolutely has not been easy. It's been really, really... Uh, sucking the energy right out of you for lack of a better wor word it has but it feels like now though that difficult period in your life is over you know you may have went through a midlife crisis we all do at times we do but i think you're stepping out you're stepping out of that period of of uh isolation There was a lack of love. There was a lack of emotional commitment. Maybe you were un you were unable to offer love at this time or at that time. There was no love because you weren't feeling it. Maybe you weren't feeling like you were getting emotional support. But now there's an opportunity for love. With somebody that you are very compatible with. There's a beautiful union that is coming about because you have persevered. It's your turn with the wheel and the world. It's your turn. It's your turn for a new beginning, Aries. It's your turn. It's your turn to receive companionship. It's your turn to receive love. I feel like this is a week where a new chapter begins. Or it has begun. And you're able to... Release the burdens that have held you back. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm stepping over the, this finish line. I'm allowing this love to be in my life. Damn. There could be some heartache. Okay, there could be some... You still, there's still some wounds there, right? There is. The wounds are still there.
You need to master your emotions and realize that heartache is a fact of life. Don't let your broken heart from the past keep you bitter. Allow yourself to feel compassion. Allow yourself to be loved. Let somebody love you. Don't keep yourself withdrawn. Maybe you feel like you need to withdraw. Maybe you feel like you're not lovable. And I kind of see that. You are lovable. You're lovable. And you deserve love. There's an opportunity for love here that could lead to happiness and wish fulfillment if you allow it. This is something you've been waiting for. You have. So I feel, Aries, as though this is a week of starting a brand new life. I do. With the wheel card and the world card. It looks like it's a, there's a major new beginning here that you've been waiting for. And it does involve love. Could be even a reconciliation. Now, I don't, th when I say reconciliation, I don't want you guys to go automatically think that it is somebody from your past. That, you know, that you're your ex. I don't want you to think that. A reconciliation can be with a friend. It can be with a partner that um, you've known before, you know. So I feel as though there is some sort of rejoicing that comes about because it's your turn. No more. No more feeling empty inside. It's like a swift change. It's like a, a change from negative to positive. Okay? Interesting. Calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. This is what's happened. You guys have been determined. Through hard times, there have been some serious hard times here. But your soulmate is either here or right around the corner. If you're ready for it, if you're open to it, if you're not open to it, then it's not going to happen. This is for people that are open to for, to have their soulmate come into their lives. People that are ready. A, a major cycle phase that was long term in your life is ending. And you are about to start a new one with your soulmate. For those of you that want it. There's been a lot of fear of rejection here with that Hermit Reverse. Somebody was fearing rejection, so they, they closed themselves off, closed off their heart. But I think that heart is opening back up. That's what I see happening. The heart is opening back up. You are limitless. Recognize this truth. You can do anything you choose to do. It's up to you. There's an opportunity for a soulmate connection here. If you allow it. Something to rejoice about. Something to be happy about. So that's what I have. Talk to you later.